It's Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com. Got a classic today. This one reminds me of my childhood quite a bit. We're gonna learn how to do Hurt So Good from John Mellencamp. So this one's pretty pretty simple. It's got a couple of really uh, really recognizable riffs in it. Um, so, um, but they're not overly difficult to play. Pretty basic chords. So hopefully we'll be able to get to it do it pretty quickly. Before I do though, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Ring the notification bell so you know when we see a new video. And when I release a new video, please watch it. <laughs> like and comment and watch it. That's what helps the video reach more people. It helps the ch channel succeed and uh, makes what I do worth it. So please uh, support the channel in those ways if that's all you can do. If you really want to support the, the channel the, the most possible, the best way to do it, join my Guitar Academy. You'll see a link to it in the description below. Uh, my Guitar Academy contains all of my guitar courses, from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses of technique, improvisation, ear training, theory. I go live every Saturday with just Academy members, like a live video chat. Um, and uh, you get personalized support from me as well beyond that. And you get a free seven day trial by clicking that link. So please go check it out. All right, so let's jump into the track. I am uh, tuned down a half, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not tuned down, I'm standard here. All right, so we have this um, intro real quick. All right, so you'll notice that throughout this song, you're gonna hear some guitars kind of doing the riff. Another one's kind of playing a big chord and maybe accentuating the high strings off of that. So I'm just gonna kind of do what I think is the main part for each one. Kind of, we don't really have to try to get exactly like the, the recording. If it's E, we can, we can do it like that. We can just do the chord, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's, there's a guitar player, two guitar players that are each doing that, so. Let's start with this um, this intro though. So you can it starts off an A A chord, but you're gonna hit the low E string first, and then go into that A major chord, and then hit the A chord, and then go back to the E. So, and when he hits the A, he's letting that E still ring over it, under it, I guess. Then so you hit that A again and back to an E major. So it is. Do it again. And then it goes, kind of goes back to a, an E E chord. A little bit more active rhythm on it. Kind of build up that E a little bit. It's just this is basically just A E A E is the intro. And then we got that uh, main guitar riff that comes in, looks like this. All right, so that's based around an A here. So you just have the open A string. And then you're gonna play the fourth fret there on the G and the third fret on the B. You're gonna play those three times. Then back, you can go ahead and just gonna be hold an A major chord, like a bar across the second fret of the, the B, G, and the D. You can do that and just kind of, so you, when you leave that chord, you hit the G and the B string at the second fret on E string, so you already got it with the bar. this. Then you're gonna go back down and hit the open A string twice, kind of muted. And then you still get that bar at the second fret, so you can just play the fourth fret there on the D string. And you're gonna play the G string as well, which is being held by that bar. Then back to the open A once, and then release that fourth fret there on the D. So it's just a second fret across the D and the G you're gonna play. Those two strings. Uh, so we have this. And then we have this little ending. 
uh, which is the open E string. And, when you, and then the second fret on low E, you can slightly bend that if you want. And to the open A string again, and that rings out as you hold the A again and start the, the lick again. Then we get to the verse, uh, which is uh, just really off uh, basic chords and a, and a bar chord there. It looks like this. So it's kind of just based off, uh, kind of more laid back at first. To the A to E. To an F sharp minor chord. So that's a full bar at the second fret. And then the fourth fret on the A and the D. And then to a D major chord. So the, pause and then kind of after this little pause um, you when you go back you start so it's the same chords but you start doing that little kind of bluesy so that's back to the A and then I'm just gonna rotate that second fret on the D to the fourth fret on the D a couple times and then we take it down to the E chord, so it's a low E string, and now the second from the A to the fourth from the A. Back to the A. So we kind of got this from the beginning of the verse. starts picking up. Back to the F sharp minor, to the D, and then A. I am sorry, E. Kind of builds to the chorus. And then to the chorus. So one more time to the, the um, there's kind of based off the same chords. It's just you, at, at the end, instead of just playing the A to the E chord, he's... doing that lick on it whenever you had the A and E going on. All right, so one more time through the verse. Now we get to the chorus section, it looks like this. So the chorus is a little bit more straightforward. So we have just this, the A power chord. And when it goes down to the E, we're gonna be doing that little, that little blues thing on it again. So it's. 
the A. Back to the E, loose thing. Then we have a quick chord change. It goes. So it goes that D major to that F sharp minor chord, and then back to the D. So that's kind of a quick change. And then back to the E, kind of loose. And that main riff twice. So all together for the chorus one more time. Now keep in mind, like when you're doing some of those shuffles. So then I'm going to kind of doing some open E figures. So you can play that if you want instead. But uh, I just kind of stick in with that little blues thing there. All right, then it goes through the verse again and then the chorus again. Um, but just coming out of the chorus the second time, you do that main riff twice, once instead of twice. And then it goes straight to the bridge um, section, which looks like this. So um, that's going to start with just the D major chord. And when it gets to the A here, um, both times you pull, well, yeah, this, well, this first time and the last time you play A in the bridge, you get a little blues thing. On. Two and four on the D there. So we have this. Back to the D. Then a quick chord change from F sharp minor. And then back to like we started, D, to that A with the blues, blues figure. So we have this all together so far for the bridge. D, that A, little blues figure. And then we have a full on blues riff. Hear some of that going on? Something I did. Kind of that thing that was playing the E chord, but the main riff underneath that is played five times. It looks like this. So that's going to be, you're going to hit the open E string in the, in the bass, but you're going to have the first fret first on the A string. Play those together. Move it, slide it up to the second fret. And hit those two, the open E and the second fret on the A again together. And then play the fourth fret on the A with the open E string. Got to pause. So we have this. And then we're going to go back to... Um, you can have the open E basically in the base of all these notes. but on the, So on the A string is where the melody is happening. So we start that melody right there. And then we're going to do this. So that's going to be two on the A a couple times. Pull off four to two on the A. And then move up here to the fifth fret and slide back down to four. So we have, I'm sorry. Now do all of that, but every single time you hit one of these chords, have the low E string, uh, open E string as well on it. So it. Is... 
So I basically do that riff five times, and then we're back to the same chorus. <laughs> that little variation there. So you just basically go through the chorus progression once. By the way, when you play the chorus later on in the song, a lot of times when he plays that A, he'll add that little blues thing to that as well. So if you can add that if you want. So it's just kind of a slight variation on that main riff that he just goes into real quick. So you just gotta, you basically, you're not hitting the open A string between them at all, just go, just go through all the double stops. And then just kind of repeat the, the, uh, the chorus again. So then uh, we get the, really the end of the song is just that main riff repeated. Kind of like that. There's kind of kind of a little upbeat thing a couple times. Uh, but what uh, happens once you can kind of follow that if you know the song. It's just on that A chord, a couple of upbeat hits on it. So out of that, it's pretty, uh, just kind of revolves that until the end of the song. So if you guys enjoyed it, it's pretty basic, but there's a lot of uh, kind of uh, overdubs um, that, you know, it's kind of hard to completely recreate with one guitar, but um, to get it sounded exactly like it, but um, if you just kind of like get the vibe of it. I think you'll be fine. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.